Hey Marty, it's Mike Hoover on the occasion of your retirement and um, I'm not sure I'm going to make it to the actual celebration because we've got this whole legislature budget session mess and we're not even supposed to be here in late June, but surprise! So uh, anyways, they've asked me to speak to you because there's been a <clears throat> bit of a glitch with the uh, retirement paperwork surrounding you and um, no easy way to say this, so let's just get right into it. When you transferred over to the uh, the Board of Community and Technical Colleges, we should have just taken all your service years and credited them in your new with your new employment and you'd have been in good shape. Um, unfortunately, that's not what happened. A, a box got checked and it's not, it doesn't matter who did what at this point. I mean, it's what's done is done. You were classified at that time as actually an asset uh, of a uh, <clears throat> of Centralia College. You are actually, I want to get this right because it, it, it matters. You are actually a general parking lot six um, at Centralia College. And and it's unfortunate that you're, you're a six because if it was a general parking lot three or better, we'd just be able to, to transfer that. That's what the bean counters tell me anyways. But given this, there's there not a lot we can do. So where does that leave us? We can stick you in PERS 8, which is... Uh, a, a no, thank you note from the governor and a coupon for a Denny's Grand Slam breakfast. It's, it's good Monday through Friday and any participating Denny's and the nearest one to us I think is in Battleground. Solid meal though, you're, you're gonna enjoy that. Um, the other things we can do is I can get you on as a house page and you can just work your way up from there. I mean, I've seen you do it before. You're a phenomenal guy. I mean, you, you've got the moxie, you've got the talent, um, and we've got the jacket. So um, this could be win-win, and we can get you the service credits that way. And you do get a stipend, and um, and we'll, we'll educate you. There's a page school. I mean, maybe you could learn another trade or something. I don't know. That's, that's something we can offer. Um, and of course, you could just try to make it with, uh, with what you've got in. Um, which uh, with the service credits where we cut them off. Uh, let's see, you were, how long were you Secretary of the Senate? You've done so many things. The Governor, uh, OFM, it's $36.18 a month. And then we would take the health care out of that. Um, <clears throat> so anyways, um, $36. I mean, if you're frugal, I mean, there's people clipping coupons. There's, you know, there's a lot of things you can do to stretch this money. And, uh, frankly, uh, maybe we're approaching this from the wrong end. Maybe it's not the money in end of things, but maybe we need to look at the money out and, uh, harsh truth time here. How, how long were you planning to live? Because this really factors into the actuarial tables. And, uh, you know what? Let's not get into that now. This is a time for celebration. You think about that. You get back to me. Um, let me know what you decide and let me know your jacket size just in case and congratulations, you're a great guy.